Hi everyone, this is Phil Liu. I'm standing here in my office and I was just thinking about some ideas and you can see my board is just as uh, filthy as it usually is with all kinds of scribble. Um, so I've got my bookcase here, but it um, doesn't seem to have too many books. Uh, mostly do a lot of reading and research on the internet. But anyways, today I'm going to be talking about Agile GQM. So let's get started here. Um, so what is GQM? GQM was developed by Victor Basili and another guy named Weiss, David Weiss, and some other guys in Germany back in the 1970s. And they developed this approach for actually for NASA um, and developing software for NASA and trying to develop software metrics. And so um, some people call it an approach. Some people think of it as a paradigm or a methodology. But basically, GQM stands for Goal, Question, and Metric. So I'm going to go over each of these things in detail and give you some examples and how we can apply it to uh, measuring and improving our Agile process. So first, let's talk about goals. So I could have a goal. I'm just going to give you some examples from, you know, from a personal standpoint. I could have a goal of being healthy. I could have a goal of buying a house or getting married or things like that. And then if we think about it in the technical terms, um, how about goals like building quality software or improving my agile process? So I'm going to carry this analogy all the way through and so you can see how we can apply, actually we can apply GQM to every part of our lives. So let's keep going here. Um, questions. So questions are questions that, if answered, will tell me if I'm accomplishing my goal. So for instance, if I, my goal is to be healthy, maybe these three questions here, that if I answer them, they'll tell me if I'm healthy. They'll, maybe I have to want to be a certain weight, or I want to assess my risk for a heart attack to tell me if I'm healthy or not. Or possibly, you know, if I can run, you know, five miles or something like that, that about means that I'm healthy. So if I can answer these questions, that helps me to verify if I reach my goal. Now let's think about it in terms of agile here. So for agile, maybe I think to myself, okay, first I have to go higher level and think, okay, what is quality? You know, what is quality for my software? Maybe I think of it in terms of defects, how many defects, how many priority defects. Where are the defects? Um, many of us think of Agile in terms of velocity. So am I getting faster? Am I getting slower? Um, another thing that people think about a lot is rework and technical debt. Um, or um, we also think of, uh, you know, the, the main thing we want is our users to be happy. So that's a question that if we answer that question, we can determine if our software is good quality, which is our goal, right? So now let's talk about the metrics. Now we want metrics that help us to answer those questions. So, from the personal standpoint, maybe if I got metrics on my weight, my cholesterol, if I took a step test, if I measure my blood pressure, um, things like that, if I take those metrics and I measure them over time, I can tell if I'm becoming more healthy or less healthy, and they'll help me to answer the question of whether or not I'm reaching my goal. Now, from an agile point of view, let's think of it this way. So we can think of production defects. Maybe I want to categorize my production defects um, by source of defects. I can also think of uh, you know my estimates, my work estimates on my stories, whether or not that's accurate. Um, Maybe the weighted value of some of my defects or user retention rate to tell me if my users are satisfied. All of these metrics will go towards answering specific questions that are tied to my goals. So that's kind of the basics of GQM and how we can apply it to um, Agile. And so we have Agile GQM and the whole thing I hope that you learned today is how First of all, what GQM stands for, but secondly, how can we really apply it to Agile and even actually to our own lives? So I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, short blog and uh, come back soon.